untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another historic gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a servo tribal deck featuring a ton of cards from Kaladesh Remastered and one of the centerpieces of the deck is Metallic Mimic, 2 mana for a 2-1 artifact creature shapeshifter that as it enters the battlefield we have to choose a creature type and Metallic Mimic is the chosen type in addition to its author types and each author creature we control of the chosen type enters the battlefield with an additional plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. So Metallic Mimic can name Servo and then each Servo token we make will enter the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it, so great with Servo Exhibition, a two mana sorcery making two colorless Servo artifact creature tokens, or with Sram's Expertise which makes three Servo tokens and also lets us cast a spell with converted mana cost three or less from our hand without paying its mana cost. Now do keep in mind that if we play Sram's Expertise we will make the Servo tokens before we get to cast a free spell, so we won't be able to play Metallic Mimic for free and then have those Servo tokens get those plus one plus one counters so ideally we already have Metallic Mimic in play before we play the Sram's Expertise and then we can use that free spell to maybe cheat a Tempered Steel or Master Trinketeer in play to boost up our Servo Tokens afterwards. So let's take a look at the rest of the deck at zero mana. We've got the full play set of Ornithopter as a free artifact we can play to then get the bonus from our various Anthem effects and it's also a Thopter which synergizes with our Master Trinketeer which we'll get to in a second. Then we also get to play with the full playset of Toolcraft Exemplar, a 1 mana 1 1 a Dwarf Artificer, saying at the beginning of combat on our turn, if we control an artifact, Toolcraft Exemplar gets plus 2 plus 1 until end of turn, so it turns into a 1 mana 3 2, which is quite strong, but if we control 3 or more artifacts, it also gains first strike until end of turn, and since we're making so many servo tokens, it's usually not that difficult to give our Toolcraft Exemplar first strike. Then we also have two copies of Animation Module, which is also quite synergistic in our deck, as a 1 mana artifact, saying whenever 1 or more plus 1 plus 1 counters are put on a permanent we control, we can pay 1 generic mana, and if we do we get to make a 1 1 servo token, and for 3 mana we can tap Animation Module and choose a counter on target permanent or player and give that permanent or player another counter of that kind. So Animation Module is great in combination with our Metallic Mimic, because whenever we make a servo token, it will enter the battlefield with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, which will trigger animation module. So if we have Metallic Mimic in play and manage to trigger animation module, we essentially get to make a servo token with a plus one plus one counter on it for each spare mana we have available. So it makes for a great mana sink if we have Metallic Mimic in play. And even without Metallic Mimic, we've got a few synergies to enable our animation module and gives us a nice way to recover from potential sweeper effects. And then we also have two copies of Hope of Girapur as a 1-1 one, one flying legendary artifact creature Thopter, so also gets bumped up by our Master Trinketeer. And we can also sacrifice Hope of Girapur and until our next turn, target player who was dealt combat damage by Hope of Girapur this turn cannot cast non-creature spells, so that's one way to potentially delay a sweeper effect and maybe kill the opponent before they can even cast it. Then at 2 mana, besides our full playset of Metallic Mimic, we also have 4 copies of Steel Overseer as another great incentive to play all these artifact creatures, as we can tap Steel Overseer and put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each artifact creature we control, so that can get out of hand very quickly, and also synergizes nicely with our animation module, which for each creature that gets a plus 1 plus 1 counter we can pay 1 mana to make a servo token, which then gives us additional artifact creatures to put plus 1 plus 1 counters onto. And then we also have the full playset of Servo Exhibition to make two Servo Tokens. And then at 3 mana we've got the full playset of Master Trinketeer, a 3-2 Dwarf Artificer giving Servos and Thopters we control plus 1 plus 1, so works with almost every creature in the deck. And for 3 and a white we can also create a 1-1 one, one Servo Token, so makes for a nice mana sink. And then we've got the full playset of Tempered Steel, which permanently gives all artifact creatures we control plus 2 plus 2, so great with a bunch of Servo Tokens. And then of course our full playset of Sram's Expertise, which ideally puts a Master Trinketeer or a Tempered Steel in play with the ability. And then going over the mana base, I decided to go with 20 planes plus 4 copies of Idyllic Grange, which enters the battlefield tapped unless we control 3 or more other planes. And when the Grange enters the battlefield, we can put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature we control. So that's potentially one way to kickstart our animation module and start making servo tokens. You could build the mana base differently, maybe include some colorless utility lands, but then you won't be able to play Idyllic Grange. And yeah, that's pretty much the deck, so let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. Turn to Steel Overseer. 
can maybe play Exhibition turn 3 and then put the Trinketeer in play for free with Servo Exhibition. Opponent looks to be on a colorless ramp deck. So they shouldn't have too much removal for my Steel Overseer. Maybe Karn the Great Creator can shut down the activated ability at some point, but we'll be able to take out Karn. Turn to Mindstone into a second Chromatic Sphere. Alright, I think I'm playing the Exhibition here. Hedron Archive. On the bright side, Ugin the Spirit Dragon can't exile our servo tokens. Could go for Servo Exhibition this turn, since those will get the plus one counter from Overseer, or I could put Trinketeer in play, which is slightly more mana efficient. And then if I draw a land, I can empty my hands next turn. Well, we should have lethal next turn either way. So my opponent needs to do something pretty powerful here. Karn the Great Crater. All right, that can minus get a Ratchet Bomb and destroy all my tokens. So that's probably what they'll do here. So that's, I guess, another reason to hang on to the Serve Exhibition. Gets a Scrap Trawler instead. Hmm. Maybe they don't have Ratchet Bomb in their sideboard, but pretty sure they're dead now. Play Trinketeer. And then all at my opponent's face. Can't use the Overseer because of Karn. Alright. Well, if they had Ratchet Bomb, this game would have been interesting. But uh, since they didn't, it was just over right away. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a keepable hand. Turn one, play module. There's no real reason to play my Ornithopter just yet. Opponent appears to be on the blue-white aura deck, which could be a tough matchup. Between Metallic Mimic and Steel Overseer, probably play Overseer first, and then we'll play Ornithopter. They do have the turn to Spirit Dancer, so yeah, that's gonna make it very difficult. So this turn, I think I want to play probably Exemplar. Could also just start making Servo Tokens, which is maybe better. So I'll name Servo. And then activate Steel Overseer. And I guess we'll hit for one. Now we can chum block the Spirit Dancer all day long pretty much. So that's not a problem, but as soon as they can give it flying or vigilance, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to get past. So for now, Serve Exhibition, and then I can pay two mana here to make two more servos, and then activate Overseer afterwards. And then don't really want to attack with Metallic Mimic in case they have Karametra's Blessing, and I'll stay back with Ornithopter in case they want to put an enchantment on the Ornithopter they have. And we'll slowly build up an army of servos. 
All that glitters. And a sentinel's eyes, so the spirit dancer now is vigilance. Another serve exhibition. Yeah, might as well. And we'll pass it back. Second Spirit Dancer. Although they appear to be out of auras. Now on the bright side, I'll say it can give protection from artifacts, so they wouldn't be able to make Spirit Dancer unblockable past my servos. I feel like playing Exemplar is just worse than making more servos, so... Activate Overseer. There we go. Is it time to start attacking? It might be. Do I send an Ornithopter to...? Sure. So they can sacrifice Selfless Savior and then protect a different creature that's also chum blocking. Well, looks like they forgot to sacrifice Selfless Savior. They are still alive at one. But they could have had an extra creature still. Ooh, Arcane Flight. Yeah. I'm regretting my Ornithopter attack now. And a Cartouche. That'll do it. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. Probably gonna lead with Steel Overseer. And then next turn, play Metallic Mimic, naming Servo. All right, opponent on blue-black rogues. Let's see if they have a removal spell here. They don't. Could have tried to resolve Tempered Steel now that it can get countered by Drown in the Loch. Although I feel like if it had drowned, it probably would have killed Steel Overseer before I get to untap. Would have been more mana efficient to Tempered Steel and next turn play both two drops. And I'll get in for one. Might get blocked by a Thought Thief. That's fine. Merfolk Wind Robber puts me up to six cards in graveyard, so if they attack, they'll have the eight required to pump up their team. All right. Alright, 
I guess we'll get in with Ornithopter if they have another Thought Thief. I guess that would be a little bit unfortunate because then they can double block and then I only kill Wind Robber. So maybe I should wait a turn. And then Tempered Steel is going to be great if it resolves. Potent doesn't seem to have many counter spells. Alright, Drown finally kills Steel Overseer. Interesting attack. I'm not sure what that implies. We'll just single block, I think. Ah, they were gonna sacrifice it anyway. Ooh, backup steel overseer. Is it better than just jamming a tempered steel here? 35 cards remain. I think we go for it. And then probably just send in everyone. One's at four. Suppose I could put Zareth San in play. Even if they get one card back here, it's not that great for them, and my opponent packs it in. Sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine opening hand. Can play a tapped Grange on turn one. As we're facing maybe a zombie stack. Probably could have played Ornithopter to block the Crypt Breaker to prevent one damage. Play Overseer, and now we'll definitely play the Ornithopter. A Midnight Reaper, so they can tap three zombies to draw a card now. And I think I play another Overseer. And then next turn I can go Mimic plus Exhibition. Pass a turn. So my opponent's got a card advantage here thanks to Crib Breaker. But hopefully we can go over the top thanks to Double Overseer pumping the team. Death Baron gonna give the team Death Touch. Alright. That's one way to get past my creatures even if they're larger. For now I'll take the damage. Could trade one Overseer for a Crib Breaker, but it doesn't seem necessary. And a Diagraph Ghoul. Ooh, Sram's Expertise. That's quite a draw. I could still go Mimic plus Exhibition this turn, and then save Expertise for next turn. Which would give me the most power and toughness. Total power and toughness, I guess, doesn't matter all that much when facing a Death Touch army. So it's definitely an interesting choice. Yeah, maybe I just go Expertise plus Exhibition this turn. And then Double Overseer makes it so I can trade 40 points creatures anyway. And then I could pump now, I guess there's no real reason to, unless I'm planning to attack with Ornithopter, which I don't think I am. We'll just stay back. Steel Overseer down. And a second Crib Breaker. Opponent's gonna draw some cards. Ma 
Master Trinketeer is pretty good too. Although, I think I might still go for Tempered Steel here. And then we can force some blocks. So if I attack with everyone except Overseer, that's uh, six, six powered creatures. So even if they block three of them, they would be taking 18. So yeah, unless they've got instant speed removal, they should be dead. And at the very least, they'll have to trade off some creatures, so I don't think I'll be taking lethal on the way back. So I have to pump. And Midnight Reaper will also deal additional damage to the opponents. And there we go. Beat mono blank zombies thanks to expertise into Servo Exhibition, making five servos in one turn. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine opening hand. Turn to Metallic Mimic into maybe Servo Exhibition on three. And then Expertise can put the Trinketeer in play for free. Opponent on blue green. Metallic Mimic gets Essen scattered, unfortunately. So blue green flash, it looks like. I guess I just want to resolve Trinketeer while I can. Opponent anticipates. So next turn we could see Frilled Mystic or Nightback Ambusher. In which case I can decide to just activate Trinketeer. Alright, it's gonna be an Uro instead. So I don't mind expertise into Tempered Steel, or we can Expertise into Exhibition and next turn Tempered Steel, which is a bit more impactful. And by casting Expertise, we kind of get to protect Tempered Steel from a counter spell, because they would have to counter Expertise, and then we can try again the turn after. So yeah, 4 mana, and we put Tempar and Toughness in play. And next turn we could easily have lethal if another expertise resolves. And gross peril. So our opponent's gonna untap with potentially seven mana. Not sure if they're splashing black or if it's just a uh, blue green land essentially. Escapes Uro. Uro is pretty good. Opponent's at 22. And another Uro. So my opponent's tapped out. If Tempered Steel resolves, I'll have five four powered creatures essentially. So not quite enough for lethal, but we're getting close. So probably worth it to send in all the servos. Can still block Uro if they decide to attack. And then we've got Master Trinketeer as a mana sink if the game goes long. Anticipates. Not sure what they're looking for at this point. 
Suppose if they have a sweeper-like extinction event, they could get us a Brewvac. Uh -huh, so they were trying to mill us as well. Secret Keeper mills for eight. Still have 40 cards remaining, so... Don't think that's gonna cut it. Alright, and we get to attack with all. And that should be enough. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a pretty nice looking hand as long as we can hit our land drops. And a mission module to go with Steel Overseer as well. Facing a turn one Kite Sail Cleric. So maybe a Flyers deck or some sort of party synergy deck. Looks like Blue White Flyers, Curious Obsession, take two. Still probably gonna start with Steel Overseer and then the next turn I can play Metallic Mimic, make a Servo and then hopefully turn for Expertise. Fairy Vandal, main phase, so it gets a counter after they draw an extra card. Yeah, we don't really interact with flying creatures all that well, so just gotta hope to outrace the opponent on the ground. Spectral Sailor flashed in. So we take 5 down to 11. If they have a Rally of Wings, we could potentially be dead next turn already. And a Skycat Sovereign into Warkite Marauder. Yeah, that should get the job done as well. So best I can do is Expertise into, I guess, another Exhibition. But I don't think I'm... Uh, Necessarily forcing my point to chum block, and next turn they should have enough in the air to kill me. 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. So, yeah, there's not much I can do. Their start was just a little bit too aggressive, I guess. But we probably would have had a lethal next turn ourselves. So yeah, just being on the play makes all the difference sometimes. Although they also had the Rally of Wings, which is kind of like the tempered steel for blue-white flyers. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine opening hand. The idyllic range pretty important to kickstart our animation module as well. And for now we get to go Exemplar into probably Serve Exhibition into Tempered Steel. They appear to have a play here, it's gonna be Opt for one mana. So, blue-black. And Blood Chief's thirst to take out my exemplar. Well, I guess we'll play Steel Overseer now. It is a close call here between going Exhibition into Tempered Steel or Overseer into maybe Exhibition. If Overseer survives, of course, Animation Module becomes much better too. So they appear to be blue-black control. Never mind, Psychic Corrosion, so they're trying to mill us out. 
So what's my plan? Probably go module plus exhibition. Or I could go module, tap overseer and then pay one to make a servo token so we don't overextend in the case of a sweeper next turn. So I still keep the servo exhibition around. Yeah, I guess I can buy that. Can also play Grange, pay one to make a servo and then play Tempered Steel next turn. Steel Overseer gets committed. Could also go Exhibition plus Exemplar this turn instead of Tempered Steel. Uh, also the DOS run right into a Sweeper potentially. I think I do play Tempered Steel. And we already have a decent amount of pressure now, so it doesn't feel like I need to add more creatures to the board necessarily. Thought Erasure gonna have a look. Probably takes Exhibition. Can also just activate Animation Module next turn, put an initial counter on my servo, and make another one. Ooh, double module. So I guess Extinction Event would be the worst case scenario. As that would exile all my tokens. It's going to be an Into the Story instead, which mills me for 8. So my opponent must also have Teferi's Tutelage, which is just a better version of Psychic Corrosion. So they might have six or eight of those three mana enchantments. Expertise is nice, but yeah, we can just attack for lethal. If my opponent kills my 5-5 five, five token, I can still put a counter on it if I want and make two more servos. If I did this first and they killed it, that would be pretty bad. And then I keep Expertise in hand, should they have a Sweeper. Opponent finds double black, so now Languish would also wipe my board. We are down to 30 cards, so still a long way to go. Narsat's gonna go digging. Pretty good combo with uh, memory as well. Narsat misses. And for just three mana, I can't think of too many answers here. And my opponent explodes. Alright, nice. Seeing the importance of idyllic range here to kickstart our animation module. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw with a fine opening hand. Probably have to hold on to the Hope of Girapur and just play Grange on turn one. And then seems like we're up against Merfolk. So yeah, this could be a tough matchup. Turn to Silvergill, revealing another Silvergill. So they've got a card advantage going in their favor. Play Overseer. Next turn I probably go Mimic, naming Servo plus Hope of Girapur. And then double exhibition will be nice. Another silver gill revealing Sagana. 
Not a typical inclusion in Murfolk decks. Alright, so next turn we get to double Servo Exhibition. And then Trinketeer can pump them up once again. I'm fine trading Hope of Girapur for one of their creatures here. So if they're playing Zagana, they're probably not playing Collected Company, is my guess. And then we'll take five. Ooh, Tempered Steel's a great one too. And then, uh, do I attack with a Mimic? Not sure what they could have here for three mana. They need double blue for Merfolk Trickster. Can't think of too many other flash Merfolk. I guess like the 3-3 three three that gives Hexproof maybe. So I guess we'll just chill and not attack with Metallic Mimic. And yeah, there it is, Swift Warden. So we should be able to go bigger than the Merfolk deck, although never mind, there's Kumena, so now my opponent can also put a plus one plus one counter on their entire team. But Tempered Steel is still gonna give us the edge for the time being. And my opponent explodes. Yeah, my servos were gonna be 6-6, six, six. so if I attack with all my servos, my opponent's already forced to make some blocks that they don't want to make. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a nice aggressive start featuring double Toolcraft Exemplar. Let's see what we're up against. Turn one planes, and then I guess we'll play the Grange here. So for now our deck is looking more like Dwarf Tribal instead of Servo Tribal. But the Trinketeer will boost up Ornithopter as well. Glass Caskets. Going after Exemplar. It's kind of funny if they exiled my Ornithopter, they could have prevented more damage until we top decked another one. So our opponent falls to 13. And they will take Servant to play plus a Sparring Construct. Alright, so this must be the Tempered Steel Mirror match. Just gonna play another Trinketeer. And then... Could attack with everyone. Could just send Ornithopters. If I attack with everyone, they double block Trinketeer, they take 7. Yeah, that doesn't seem great, but I'm okay trading Exemplar for full take servants even if next turn I could potentially give exemplar first strike all right they've got their own strams expertise into crystal and giants so hopefully my ornithopters can get across the finish line Don't think I should attack with Trinketeer. 
and then there's a few abilities that would be bad for me here. Reach, Flying, Lifelink. Second Expertise. What's their last card? Alt had Glitters. Well, they hit First Strike, luckily, instead of uh, a more useful ability like Lifelink. So we should be able to survive this attack. And my opponent concedes. All right. Yeah, I guess if they attack with Crystal and Giants, if I attack next turn with everyone, they would be forced to essentially chump with all their servos, which would also shrink down a Crystal and Giant. I mean, there's still a chance they could have had lethal next turn if they attacked. I take it, and next turn they top deck another SRAM's expertise or something along those lines. So definitely a premature concession, but we were pretty likely to win. So yeah, overall, Servo Tribal, pretty interesting take on the Tempered Steel Artifact Aggro Archetype. And uh, yeah, not sure if it's necessarily better than the classic version that plays more one-drops, but uh, it's definitely a fun way to play some of the new cards from Kaladesh Remastered. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.